Paul, how you doing, brother? I'm okay. Welcome to the channel 48 home. Big up. Big up, brother. Yes, man. Yo, peeps, what's up? What's going on? I'm here with... Oops. That's a good start of the video. Ooh. Anyway, peeps, hello. Welcome to channel 48. Uh, I'm here with DDG Music Machine. It's from Asus. And I'm gonna show it to you really fast. This is it. It's uh, yeah, a standalone monitor, and it came and it runs Windows XP. It has the blue screen of that. It's not booting up at all. Uh, the thing has uh, two USB ports. I can show it to you. I don't know if the cable is long enough, but I think these machines, uh, yeah, these are very nice, nice machines. Okay. Here you can see that we are in the BIOS, so I could set it up some things. The thing can boot from USB. We have one, two USB ports, a stand to, you know. Uh, we can connect an extra monitor, uh, a network cable. I think the thing has Wi-Fi, an extra monitor we can connect. And of course, uh, volume, uh, I mean speaker out and microphone in. Uh, so that means we have four USB ports, because as well, we have two more here. It's still plastic that was never removed so in fact this thing <laughs> has a brand new looking slot there and uh, yeah this thing is hanging to a blue screen so this thing has a blue screen of that uh, and of course you know uh, I want to encourage my brother uh, Paul to as well use Linux because Linux yeah I think Linux users have an easier life and uh, they don't have to worry too much about uh, their computer. It's always working. Sometimes there are some problems, but then, you know, the Linux guys, uh, users, they find a way how to fix it and then they feel good about themselves again. And then, yeah, in fact, uh, what are we doing there? I'm gonna just start Windows and I'm gonna show you. This is it, this is how it looks. The DDG start, did, did you see that blue screen? Did you see it? So that is the biggest problem uh, with this laptop. So it's in a boot loop. So yeah, what are we gonna do? We're gonna fix it. Uh, I'm gonna get one of my distributions. Uh, I think I'm gonna get my Mac OS. Uh, Paul wanted to see uh, Mac on this thing. In a way, he loves the Mac machines that I have here, so I said, okay, uh, let's just install one of my distributions and see if we can fix this machine. Okay, there we are with the machine. It hanging in uh, in this mode. Can you put in this, this uh, stick ball? Thank you. And then I'm just gonna hit Control Alt Delete like this, and then I'm gonna hit F9, and that will bring me in the boot mode, as I found out just now. And it will ask me if I want to boot from the USB stick. Damn it! Maybe it was F10. I was pressing F10, F9 and F11. Let's see. One of them should bring me in a boot menu. No. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go back into the bias. I'm not sure if it's F2. F3. Is F2? Yeah. Okay. bias there we go and we go to boot in the bias and we go to boot priority and we set the first boot priority to uh, removable device and second is disabled hard disk drives we see the uh, the second drive is the USB with uh, I think F let me see select up 
mean we can also do it like this I set this one to USB so now the USB drive is set as the first drive you see that so now what we're gonna do is hit F10 and OK and now it should automatically detect the bootable USB stick and it should boot soon we should see a little Apple booting up because Paul wanted the Apple distro so it should now boot up from the USB stick and uh, insert media reboot select damn it I just created a media F9, F10, F11 Ok, wait The USB stick And another port It should not give me the scrap This is nonsense, let's go back into the BIOS And set the first device to the USB Because that's what we did and this drives and I forgot to put it as well to confirm it in the boot that's here boot uh, first boot is USB you see that? that's how we should have done it and that's why it did not boot so now it should boot from USB still a nice machine to see yeah? looks good People throw away these machines, you know why? Because of the operating system. Now we're just gonna hit yes. enter. Yes, yes. Of course it works. This is by Pukram, huh? Oh, Mac OS Linux. Now you're gonna see little Apple booting up. If your memory is not wasted. Now this looks good. There we go. Okay, then. Yes, yes, Fix yes. The man. Fix but, the uh, man. Hey, I, I updated this and eh? now I have very beautiful line. I don't have these dots anymore. This is my old uh, my old distro. This is a distro from uh, I think three or four months ago that I created for one of my Apple machines. And uh, there we go. We're booting up guys. And I think the password to get in is channel 48. So remember that? Without capitals, just channel 48, it should now go into the into the boot menu, uh, I mean the login screen, if everything goes right, okay. If it crashes here, then something is wrong with the memory of the machine. But I don't think so. But it might take a second to, to load into the system. It's not, it's not stopped. By hitting the control on your keyboard, you will see that it's not, uh, it's not stopped. It's loading, it's just a bit slow because this is not Mama's fastest computer. Here you can see Wi-Fi connected. And there we are guys, and uh, look at that. I even have a little welcome message for all my users. That's how I present. This is the CEO of Channel 48, present his own ROM. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean this true. <laughs> uh, this is a crazy. Look at what I became. Tell me one operating system that is being delivered in, in, in such a way to the user. Yeah, did you see the CEO or the guy that created it, whoever he is? Yeah, uh, yeah he, 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 he kind of explains to you whatever you have to do uh, after installing this thing. So uh, we're going to install this and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let, let's first see what's on this machine okay maybe there's a whole lot of music that we would like to keep this is as well how to get into a locked windows computer if, if you have a windows computer that is locked just go uh, to uh, go go 
Oh, <laughs> this is not Apple. I was confused. I thought this was Apple peeps. Uh, we go to file system. Uh, let me see. Macbook. I don't see that the drive is mounted. Hey. That is strange. Okay, never mind. Let's just uh, can can I kill this uh, hard drive? I can kill everything that's on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna boot up G parted. I think the password is channel forty eight without underscore one. Yes. Remember it, eh? Very mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Invalid partition. Yeah, that is uh, that is the USB stick. And it's showing me here a drive that is totally messed up. You see the red thing there? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna delete that drive. And now we have allocated space 320 gigabytes. And we hit apply. And now we format the drive. Mm -hmm. Everything is gone. No problem. If there was music on there, no more music. Sorry for it. House for sale is gone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now. Um, now we're gonna create device, we're gonna create uh, a new partition, okay? And you told me that this thing has 2 gigabytes of space, right? Mm -hmm. So in the free space here, we're gonna type 2048. That's the same as 2 gigabytes. Uh, and that is the free space following that must be left over after creating the partition. So we're gonna get two partitions, one partition, of 269 gigabytes 96 gigabytes yeah and one from two and for the one from two we're gonna create a new partition and we're gonna call this a swap partition a Linux swap partition okay we also let me see what they're saying oh, Andre Hases so now we have a partition an X4 partition of uh, 296 gigabytes and we have a Linux web partition from 2 gigabytes so we're gonna hit apply apply this uh, uh, I think this Mac has Android as well built in okay. I think I'm not sure close Okay, so we're gonna get one more error. That is the USB stick that it's uh, it's not being able to, you know. So now we're done. All right. Oh, this is such a beautiful distribution. This thing has look. You have GarageBand. This is not GarageBand, but you can make music here. You have uh, a video editor. You can broadcast to YouTube. You have a rhythm box music player. You can listen to music out of the box. We're also going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Let's see. Wi-Fi driver is nicely found. Okay. So now it will ask me for the password. Okay. Bluetooth. Yeah? Bluetooth? Yeah. I don't know. Otherwise just buy a little Bluetooth adapter. Mm -hmm. I'm screw Bluetooth, man. You don't need Bluetooth on this thing. For what? Uh, just connect a nice, uh, put a nice, uh, connect it to a nice uh, stereo, uh, mm -hmm. stereo set, uh, amplifier with nice speakers and use this thing to, you know, to play music, to go on the internet. Spotify is installed so you can log in with your Spotify account. You even have uh, a webcam. I don't think this thing has a webcam. Mm -hmm. No, it has no webcam. So, in fact, you know, you cannot uh, use the webcam app. So, yeah. But do you like it? Mm -hmm. It looks good. Yeah. It looks fantastic, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is, that's how I feel about my system. You know that you can watch uh, live TV as well? Yeah. Yes. I have Cody built in here. Something is not going good. I don't know what is happening. This is a very old machine. That now is gonna attempt to start up Kodi, and maybe I did not have to do it yet because it's running it live. It's maybe a little bit too much. 
It's not stuck yet. It killed my. Uh, let me see what's gonna happen here. Never mind. Let's continue the installation. Now we're gonna look for system back. System back. There it is. Because with system back, we're gonna install the system. Yeah. Now we're gonna hit uh, system install. Paul, username, uh, uh, full name of the new user. Paul, uh, Paul, and for the password, I'm gonna also. Okay, welcome back. This is the next uh, screen after you know putting in our account. And the first thing that you're gonna do here is put on transfer user configuration files. Okay, the first drive that we created, the 296, we're gonna mount it as root. That is the little stripe that you see, and we hit the green arrow. The dev SDA2, yeah, we're gonna mount it as swap. Remember, mm -hmm. it was a swap file. So here we hit the little green arrow. We made sure that we select transfer user configuration and data files. Otherwise, this, this whole thing will not look the way I created it. And now we hit next and we say start. And now the system will be installed. And when this is done, uh, I'm gonna get back to you. I think that I'm going to get back to you. I think that I'm going to get back to you. I think that I'm going to get back to you. I think that I'm going to get back to you. But I've heard how you've done that. Ik was trots op je om me te horen. Ja? Okay. Van Erik. Mm -hmm. die, wat, wat is het ook alweer dat je hebt gemaakt? Die gitaar iets. Ik vond het heel knap. Oh ja, yeah, guys. I also want to show you that uh, this is a touchscreen uh, uh, device. So I can, uh, you know, uh, simply just uh, use my fingers to do whatever, do something. It's a little bit hard to click. if the clicking will go but as you can see I can start up an application I can you know but it's installing at this point uh, I can show you how stable this is uh, while we're installing we're also we also gonna play some music while installing uh, multimedia and let me see Oh, the city where is Rhythm Box? Baby, where are you? There. Come here. So, we're gonna boot up Rhythm Box. And sorry for that. Oh, this is terrible. This is really terrible. I cannot even show the film like this. It's way too light. I have all this backlight uh, coming in. I think this is better. This looks way better. Okay, so at this point uh, I can just go ahead and uh, hit radio and I can go ahead and for instance while installing the operating system. I mean like there's no operating system where you can do this into. Not even in, in, in the normal Linux. Or maybe it can. Maybe you, No, I don't think you can. You can only install. It's a beautiful woman in Afghanistan, which was 95% when I was on the ground there at the beginning of the war, heading the Navy's strategic counterterrorism for a very short period. When we looked at more to fix uh, the global war of terror than our military after 19 years of war has. Nice, huh, guys and girls? What you think? If you see this uh, device uh, and it's running Windows XP and the thing got blue screen of that and the guy don't want it anymore, they want, you know, get it. You know, come to my channel, find the right distribution that I created, install it onto it and you will have a great machine that will do things that not even these great machines can do, such as playing music while installing the operating system. <laughs> I just love it. Paul, sorry for this little 
retarded left, my Flintstone left, but this is. <laughs> well, Barney, we really got it, man. We really got it. Where's Betty? Betty? Betty, come here. We got it. We have touch screen and we can play music while installing. It's unbelievable, peeps. Really. Look at that. Stop it before WMG will come and put a copyright complaint on my beautiful video. They should not do that. So we're just gonna leave it. It's at 25% peeps. As soon we're gonna see the reboot and the reborn of the Asus a DJ music machine. Okay, guys, we're almost there. Looks like we did it. We installed it. Unbelievable, I'm zooming in with my selfie cam on the A3. We're filming with the A3. Thumbs up to Samsung. I could never on, and still cannot do that with my iPhone. My selfie camera cannot, cannot zoom. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see my selfie camera cannot zoom. It cannot. It's unbelievable, eh? Okay, but there we go. We're just gonna hit OK. And we're gonna reboot the system. And now we can as well remove the bootable USB stick. And we're gonna hit Restart. When we see the logo, when we see that it goes off, okay, now we remove the stick, and now the thing should boot up. All that light, and now it should boot straight up should not give any error there we go <laughs> can you see that let me bring you a little bit closer system is booting up sorry for the backlight once again I won't keep apologizing but it doesn't look that beautiful on the video but it's booting up as you can see And then we're gonna get into the home screen, the login screen first. This takes uh, a little because this is still, yeah, old. Yeah, it's an old computer. It has Intel Atom uh, processor, so yeah, it's it's not much. Okay. It's not too much, but as you can see, it boots fine. Remember the password, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's very important to know that. And at this point, it might take a little bit to set up the screen. Okay, it takes a little. So when you're gonna see this and nothing happens, just go ahead and make yourself a cup of coffee. And within now and five minutes, uh, the system will present itself. It's still busy with uh, with setting up the system. The last things are being done, such as you know the taskbar is being fixed. Uh, the the dock will arrive, etc. etc. And I'm just gonna let this go very nice and slowly. And when this is done, I'm gonna get back to you. But uh, we, we I can tell you that the installation is successful. And this old Windows XP uh, DJ machine, that effect, yeah, is not a bad machine, guys. This is not a bad machine at all. Um, but it just needs a good operating system. And the lack of good operating systems uh, 
in the world where it comes from in fact makes this thing uh, kind of unusable uh, you should not install Windows 10 on this thing then you are crazy you're an idiot you know if you're gonna do that um, yeah the Mac OS operating system yeah why do that just go for Linux you know uh, one of my distros or go for Ubuntu go for Ubuntu 16 or Linux Mint or any of my 32-bit distributions those will have uh, fantastic applications built in great look and feels that you won't find in uh, any other Linux distribution I make specific uh, themed uh, devices sometimes Mac OS looks and another time uh, it can be an old Windows version that I you know remake mimic uh, in, in, in Linux I can do that thanks to gnome.org uh, you know that has all the guys that are creating fantastic icon packs and uh, themes etc and thanks to my brother Edmond I can create my own distros so yeah whatever I create I can also bring to you in the way how I would love to see operating systems in the two, uh, in the in the future uh, being delivered to 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 the user the end user end users they get the device and in fact yeah it's a shame how devices have been uh, delivered until now uh, to the end user really I see uh, 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 yeah packages with with adware being installed I see driver CDs that come with with AVG toolbar and crazy things like that peeps it's all happening really and it's a shame it should not be happening in a computer world to set up a user with so much crap in fact bloodware it's it's yeah but it's business so that's the way it is you know and yeah what we're looking at is still the screen that must set up itself so it will take a while uh, as I said within five minutes most of the times on a fast computer it will go within two minutes or one minute but in this case just wait don't panic really trust me I know my operating systems I know my baby it's gonna come and that's why I'm not touching the camera I'm just leaving it like this so you can see it for your own you know that I'm not making things up okay this is a horrible video with uh, with, with with the background uh, in the screen but this is it uh, it arrived guys uh, only thing that you should do now is uh, uh, yeah change the background picture and you do that by right mouse click and then uh, desktop settings and then uh, backgrounds it's loading the backgrounds it always takes a little to load the backgrounds okay but we know that from Ubuntu and the mate desktop I think this was created under the mate desktop so yeah oh yeah I see that the little apple there I must fix so let me do that real fast okay guys as you can see YouTube works fine okay can you even spazi drukken for me YouTube YouTube works fine and uh, yeah you can also watch YouTube now so now I'm gonna test if my Kodi works there you go YouTube works fine so let's see if Kodi works and there we go Kodi on a Windows XP computer but here you can see that all the text is gone so we don't see anything so uh, I will have to fix this real fast Okay, as you can see, uh, Kodi 18 is not working on this device. So what I will have to do is uninstall Kodi 18 and install Kodi uh, 17, and then this problem should be fixed. But this was it, uh, Paul. What do you think? Is nice, it? Uh, nice. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Yeah, better than Windows XP. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So yeah, that was it, uh, friends. Yeah, what more can I say? Beautiful. Well, brother man, now it's time to drink some coffee. What you say? Yeah. Yeah. Good job.
Work is done. Work is done. I think this Asus is still a nice machine, even though it's old. But yeah, you know, I like to make videos about old devices that we can make kind of powerful and great again, even in 2019. And this thing was before 2012, so for sure, uh, this. Uh, problem with the intel processor you know that it's kind of leaking and hackers can get into blah 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 you know that is not in this processor so you are very lucky okay. so the older machines uh yeah i rather have a, a, a older machine from before 2008 because yeah these things as you can see beautiful device right we have a great device again that you can use uh, to play music you can watch videos, I'm gonna fix the Kodi, I'm gonna put Krypton instead of Lila, okay? And then the text should be fixed, there's something to do with the processor. This is kinda old machine, right? So, we're gonna fix that, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm kinda very happy for my brother Paul, um, yeah, that his machine is fixed again. So, I want to thank you for watching. If you know this machine, uh, let me know uh, your experience about this machine. If you want this distribution, uh, let me know. Then I will also, you know, put the link uh, to the distribution. In fact, this was a video to show you how powerful Linux is. Uh, st uh, yeah, for these devices in 2019. Still, uh, this thing will receive updates. It will, you know... It's just a fantastic distro with LTS support, long-term support. So yeah, what more can I say? Only thing I can say is cheers, brother. Cheers, bro. And then I say thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel after hitting the notification bell. And then, yeah, then I said I use Paraplu. Okay, I just fixed Cody. I downgraded Cody and now Cody is working fine. As you can see and the text is as well back in Kodi and in MediaTek I can go ahead and select each and every video that I wish amazing device right Paul yeah you like it I like it I'm happy <laughs> can be better and of course the thing is as well running virtual DJ now so it became a DJ machine again with even more possibilities. Kodi built in and all sorts of things. Uh, yeah, running Linux will make this thing a way better device than it ever was. So yeah, I can confirm the D DJ uh, music machine from Asus is completely back in 2019.